Marcus, Mark 6. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his Talmudim follow him. And when the Shabbat was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Miriam, the brother of Yaakov, and Yosef, and of Yahuda and Shimon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Yahusha said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid hands, rather his hands, upon a few sick folk, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. And he called unto them, rather unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean Ruachoth, and commanded them that they should take nothing for the journey, save a staff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse, but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Amen, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Chedam and Amora in the day of judgment than for that city. They went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils, and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that Yahuchanan the Immerser was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said that it is Eliyahu, and others said, that it is a prophet, or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is Yahuchanan whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon Yahuchanan and bound him in prison for Herodias's sake, rather Herodias's sake, his brother Philip's woman, for he had married her. For Yehuchanan had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's woman. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared Yehuchanan, knowing that he was a just man, and a holy, and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. And when a convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains, and chief estates of Galil. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in, and danced, and pleased Herod, and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever you will, and I will give it to you. And he swore unto her, Whatsoever you ask, rather shall ask of me, I will give it to you, unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of Yahuchanan the Immerser. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king and asked, saying, I will that you give me by and by in a charger the head of Yahuchanan the Immerser. And the king was exceeding sorry, 
yet for his oath's sake and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought. And he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel. And the damsel gave it to her mother. And when his Talmudim heard of it, they came and took up his corpse and laid it in a tomb. And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Yahusha and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship, privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran afoot thither out of all cities, and out went them, and came together unto him. And Yahusha, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when the day was now far spent, his Talmudim came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away, that they may go into the country round about, and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread, and give them to eat? He says unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And when they knew, they say, Five and two fish. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his Talmudim to set before them and the two fish divided he among them all. And they did all eat and were filled, and they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments and of the fish. And they that did eat of the loaves were about five thousand men. And straightway he constrained his Talmudim to get into the ship, and to go to the other side before unto Bayat Sayyad, while he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed unto a mountain to pray. And when he was come, rather, even was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them, but... When they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a ruach, and cried out, for they all saw him, and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them, and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased. And they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure, and wondered. For they considered not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Kinoroth and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship, straightway they knew him, and ran through the whole, that whole region round about, and began to carry about in beds those that were sick, where they heard he was. And whithersoever he entered, into villages or cities or country, they laid the sick in the streets, and besought him that they might touch, if it were but the border of his garment. And as many as touched him were made whole. <laughs>